Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. For the best meal of the year, we could not just <laughs> simply pick one meal. So we actually broke this down into nine different categories. The yes. first thing, best setting. All right, best setting. We actually agreed on this we one. We do agree on this one. Mm -hmm. um, we don't agree on all of them. No. But this one, I think Yellowtail, uh, you know, sitting out on the, on the patio, overlooking the Bellagio Fountains. Every 15 minutes that show keeps going. It was perfect. All right, next one. We agree on this one too. Best service. All right, what do you think? Wing lay. Yes. It was top notch. It was a little over the top and overwhelming at first, but let me tell you what, it really does stand out as the best service we've had at a meal. I don't know. We'll see if we're gonna keep Gemma up here for this whole thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought wing lay was over the top the best. Um, we knew we were in for a good, good setting when they brought a little chair out for Rachel's <laughs> for purse. purse. That's right. Uh, that was a sign. That was a sign. All right. First one we don't agree on. The best drink. Mine is the cucumber margarita at Javier's. You just can't go wrong with that thing. Yeah. At all. I love that as well. But for me, it's going to be, um, it was a smoky old fashioned at Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. So that, that presentation. Yeah. Was the presentation really cool. was awesome. They come out with this like this glass carrier and uh, me and a buddy, we both had got the same drink. Hi, hi. Um, and they open it up and just out rolls the smoke. You know, later in our meal, it was rolling out of the kitchen, the smoke, but um, this <laughs> time it was so where it was supposed to be. All right, next one, best appetizer. Again, we did not agree on this one. Okay. Do you remember I'm what I'm you said? I'm trying to remember what I said. You go ahead and start first. Um, mine is the cotton candy flaw from Bazaar Meat. That, it just blew my mind. The textures, the flavors, the whole thing, the presentation, it was, it was so cool. So I say that's the best appetizer for me. And for me, I, it was a pork belly, um, with rice congee mm -hmm. at Morimoto. It was amazing. It was, it just melted in your mouth. It was super rich, flavorful. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Um, and then the the kanji just kind of it was everything you needed it to be it was super soft creamy um not a ton of flavor but you you had that richness from the pork belly it was i think it was definitely one of the best bites of the year for me i agree this next one we actually do agree on and we also decided while we were making our list that Hi. this is makes it hard for us to hop we either have to be better at picking side dishes oh. or we may not have be ordering sides. <laughs> we The best side or accompaniment for a, our dishes. So for that, we went with John George Steakhouse, the bone marrow. And if you've seen our intro. <laughs> yeah, it, it's no longer in the intro, but mm -hmm. honestly, it is like a thigh bone. <laughs> it's um, huge. It is gigantic. It, it, the, it just looked so amazing and then it tastes, it, meat butter. Meat that's, that's Rachel's saying I about do. it. I call it meat butter. I love it. Yeah. All right. Next one. We do not agree on this. Best main dish. All right. People are going to probably think we're weird for they both are. of our choices on this. <laughs> yeah. Because um, you'll see we do a lot of steak. Mm -hmm. um, we do a decent amount of fish. We've started to do some more pasta. She's she just, loves her Josh. Yeah, she <laughs> missed him today. <laughs> um, but for me, it was, I had to think back to one that I felt was a game changer in taste. Um, Excuse you. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was in taste and texture. It, it like really made it different. Um, and that ended up being the fried chicken at Best Friend, which... It's some good chicken. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at, so at Best Friend, we ended up doing two chef's meal, or what do you call those? Chef's menu. Yeah, tasting menu. And chicken. our waiter, he actually said, you know, if you're gonna add one more thing, you should do the fried chicken. Listen to your to the wait staff. Ask them what their favorite dish is. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be pretty happy with it. And and it was actually, I think, the best main dish of the year for me. And and mine, I know people are going to think this is crazy, but again, as Josh said, I had to go back to the best, the best I've ever had, and it was the pizza from Nevada Brew Works. It was delicious. It was pepperoni pizza, and it oh. Which, it was the best pizza I've ever had. That was It was the best pizza good. I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly good. Yes. All right. The next one, um, 
is another one we don't agree on, but they're both very good. The best dessert. Oh, yes. So best dessert for me was at Emeril's at <laughs> MGM. It was the banana cream pie. I loved it. He did. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> he even said it again today. Yes. Like, I want to have that again. Yeah, that is the one, like, I don't need to go back to that restaurant for much else but the banana cream pie is worth going back for um you know there was like a creamy layer to it that almost was like a cheesecake like a light cheesecake almost um but then like good bananas in it i loved it yeah and my favorite dessert again it was it was life-changing <laughs> um and we listened to our waiter on this oh Gemma, was the gelato from cipriani yep it was so good, so creamy, delicious. We <laughs> we had, went out for dinner this last weekend and had ice cream, and I'm like, this isn't this isn't what we had. I don't like it. <laughs> Josh no. is like, you can't ask for that everywhere. I mean, I know, but yeah, they make the gelato to order basically. Like oh. you order it, it takes a little while because they're in the back making it. Apparently, I'd love to see like what to it see looks how like. How they do that? Yeah, yeah, but that's what he said to us. And so that was actually very close to being my favorite dessert for the year as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then all around, best meal of the year? Michael Mina, hands down. Michael Mina. I agree. Mm -hmm. So we agree on that. Um, but what's really cool to see is that as we list off all these places, we didn't list Michael Mina for any of those. No. Um, we both did different chef's menus. Um, we both, or we did like a wine. Yep. But, you know. The, t the the meal was over the top. It was. It just overall, the in entire, uh, you know, we were trying to think of like the itty bitty things that makes it not that over the top meal, but mm -hmm. there isn't. It's yeah. just delicious. And it was, besides the price point, I would say it was, I would do it every time. Yeah. I mean, if that wasn't holding me back on it, I would say that would be a meal I'd want to do every single time. Right. And, and... <clears throat> A lot of those elements, they were just a few notches down from our best of the year kind of stuff. Yep. But it really was the, the, the most all-around great meal, good environment, good service. Um, but, yeah, that was our meal of the year. <laughs> <laughs> all wrapped up in nine categories. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Girl, look at you in your Come pajamas. On. Come on, you gotta get all the way up here. All right. yeah, people want to see you. Yeah, you gotta turn around though. No, you gotta turn, turn around. around. Turn your butt this way. There you go. All right, yeah, good girl. <coughs> good girl. Well, that's okay. <coughs> all right.